Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I am going to cover signal and edge detection along with set and reset. I will open up the main program block OB1. Then I will enter in a comment on network 9. So it's going to be signal and RLO, which stands for result of logic operation, detection, set, and reset. I will expand Network 9 out, increase my zoom a level to make things easier to see. Then I will go over to the instruction tree under bit logic operations and locate the instruction for scanning an operand for a positive edge. You can hover over an instruction and it will give you help on the instruction. I will drag the positive edge instruction into the ladder editor. Then in the project tree, I will select my optimized data block. And then for the operand that I'm going to scan, I'm going to select the start command and use the drag and drop method to drag that data block element into the ladder editor. I do need to enter in a Boolean address to remember the previous edge detection. So I'm going to enter in an M30.0 and it automatically creates the tag one for me. Next, I am going to hover over the set instruction to bring up the help. So the set instruction is going to set an output so I will drag the set instruction into the ladder editor. And I'm going to type in the tag light 7, which does not exist. So I get the red squiggly lines indicating the tag is not defined. Next, I'm going to insert an open branch. And I'm going to scroll the editor down so I've got more room for my ladder logic in network 9. I am going to insert in two normally open contact instructions into the ladder editor. Then I'm going to go over to the bit logic operations and I'm going to select the instruction for scanning the RLO for a positive edge condition. I will hover to bring up the help and now I will insert that instruction into the ladder editor. I will need to enter in a memory location for the positive edge trigger to remember the previous state. So I will enter in M30.1 and it will automatically create the tag underscore 2 for me. Next, I will insert another set instruction. So I will bring the set instruction from the ladder logic instruction area into the ladder logic. So now for this, in order for that set to go true, both normally open contacts must go true from a false to true transition. And then the queue will be on for one scan. So I will enter in the start command from my optimized data block. It's a Boolean value, so I just drag that in. Then I will also enter in switch to. So the start command and switch to will have to go from false to true. Then the queue will be on for one scan and it's going to turn on the tag light eight. So I'm entering in light eight, which does not exist yet. So I also get a red squiggly line indicating the tag is not defined. So I'll scroll that ladder editor up. And then I will insert another open branch instruction for the resets. So I'll insert a normally open contact to trigger resetting. Then I will select the R instruction, which is going to be the reset output. I will hover over the R instruction to bring up the help for the instruction so that you can see it is a reset instruction. So I will drag the reset instruction into the ladder editor. Then I will add in an open branch because I want to reset both outputs and then I will insert another reset instruction into the ladder editor. So for the normally open contact, I am going to use switch five, which does not exist yet. So that's gonna be a switch on the CPU. When that goes true, it's gonna reset both outputs. So I'm gonna enter in the light seven tag. I have to type it in because it is not defined yet. I will type in the light eight tag. And again, you see the red squiggly lines because the tags are not defined. Next, I will want to define all of the undefined tags that are in network nine. So I will right click on network nine and select define tag. All undefined tags in network nine will show up in the define tag dialog box. 
For light 7 and light 8, I would like to assign those to the global output area. These are going to be outputs on the PLC. So the next available output addresses will automatically be assigned. For switch 5, this is a global input on the PLC, so I will pick the global input section. So the next available input is selected. For the PLC tag table, I'm going to switch from the default tag table to store these tags into the demo tags tag table. I could also enter in comments you know, for the tags, but I'm just going to hit define at this point. So now all of the tags are defined. Next, I will save my project and I will select download to device to download my code changes into the PLC. I will select load. Once the configuration is loaded, I will start monitoring the logic. Then I will scroll the logic so that I can see it all in the ladder editor. Next, I will right click on the start command and then I will modify the value to one. So that was going to create a false to true transition. So this line will be true for one scan, which will set light seven. The start command is already on. So when I flip switch two, then that will give me a result of logic operation going into the CLK, which is true. So the queue will be on for one scan and turn on light eight. Next, I will modify the start command back to zero. Light seven and light eight are still true. So now when I flip switch five, that will reset light 7 and light 8 with the reset instruction. Now I will turn switch 5 off. Then I will go offline and move over to the basic instruction area for the bit logic operations. I'm just going to resize the window so you can see all the different bit logic instructions that are available to you. So you have a variety of different instructions that can be used. And this concludes the lesson on signal and edge detection along with set and reset.